Good morning, everyone. And I want to share with you this morning on our devotion inside. Jesus wants to fill us. Jesus wants to fill us. You know, and I have a scripture here and it's found in Revelation chapter 22, verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water, of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. You know, there was once a story that was told in the Bible about Jesus meeting a woman who was actually a Samaritan woman. And, uh, you know, Jesus called the disciples to go out to buy food and uh, Jesus encountered this uh, Samaritan woman, you know, at a well. And what did Jesus say to this uh, Samaritan woman? Jesus said, give me a drink, uh, give me a drink. So his request actually uh, perplexed this woman, you know, strange. You know, why? Because... Uh, a, a Samaritan or a Jew will never associate uh, with a Samaritan because they are considered outcasts, they are considered, you know, um, not, not their own people. And also because uh, she was a woman after all. Uh, so, in, but in John chapter 4 verse 9, tells us about their conversation. And uh, this Samaritan woman replied, How is it that you being a Jew ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? Uh, kind of like a very... Uh, Usual question, uh, that Samaritan woman a bit surprised. For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans, right? So, but in verse 10 of uh, John chapter 4, Jesus replied, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. You would have asked him and he would have given you living water. But this woman, you know, just... Um, pretty blur about what is happening. She asked, or she said, Sir, you have nothing to draw with you, and the well is very deep. Okay, Where, can, where then can you get that living water? So it was a conversation between this Samaritan woman and Jesus. And Jesus was saying, you know, if you know who you're talking to, then what happens is that I'm going to give you living water. And then, of course, this woman just being in the natural, she would think, you don't even have a bucket, you don't even have anything, and the well is deep. How to give me water? You know, so you realize that in this conversation, there was two things happening. There was a natural conversation and there was a spiritual one. So, here, the Samaritan woman just forthrightly says, Are you greater than our father Jacob? She asked, Who gave us this well and drank from it, from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock. But Jesus said this. Listen to what Jesus says. Whoever drinks of this well, or this water will thirst again. Uh, whoever drinks of this water, which is just natural, uh, will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water, I shall give him will never thirst. Uh, but the water I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. In fact, the New Living Translation, NLT, says that this word, he replaces the word fountain with fresh bubbling spring. Fresh bubbling spring. You know, what do you think of these words when you hear these words? You know, you will be thinking, you know, fresh bubbling springs. Think of clear, cool water, isn't it? Think of really nice being fresh. So when we hear this, we realize that, you know, only Jesus can fill us with clear, bubbly spring in us. So when Jesus talks about a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life, which is found in Revelation 22, 11, but just now, you know, it says of a pure river of the word of God that proceeds from the throne of God. You know, and in John chapter 4, verse 17 says, And let him who thirsts come, whoever desires, uh, whoever desires, and let him take the water of life freely. So, what are you thirsty? Are you and I thirsty for the water of life? Uh, this morning we say, I already drank my water, I already drank my coffee, I already had my breakfast or whatever. But you see, this is not, we're not talking about physical food. We're not talking about physical water. But we're talking about a thirst for the water of life. Uh, wouldn't you and I like to have a fresh, bubbly spring of everlasting life that is inside of us every day, every morning when we wake up? You know, it's not just the teh tare, it's not just the coffee and the tea, it's not just the, the, 
the, the, the, the fresh mineral water that we get from our taps or whatever. But it's not. Huh? It's about us having, allowing Jesus to fill us. You know, maybe you, are de- maybe you have been dehydrated right now or maybe the devil has been flooding you with so many toxic lies and as well as famishing your spirit by stealing away God's word. So the good news is this. God wants to quench your thirst and my thirst right now. Why? Because He wants to fill you and speak to you. Huh? And all you have to do is that we tell ourselves early in the morning, why don't we allow God to, God's Word to come into us and uh, fill us, refresh us, so that we can be able to say, God, you know, I, I know that you will show me a pure river of what? Water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Huh? This morning I pray that you will say, you know, God, I'm so thirsty for your presence, for your word. And as I read your word, give me a fresh bubbly spring of the water of life. You know, you know, Satan may have been just flooding me with lies, temptation, but I need your word to fill me up today huh? in Jesus' name. Amen. So may you this morning be saying, God, you are the only one who can give me fresh bubbly water as I look to your word and as I allow your word to refresh and renew me. God bless you and have a great day.